Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to another sunscreen review today. I decided to do a whole separate video on this sunscreen because unlike all the other reviews I've done so far, this one is on an American sunscreen. I've always loved the ethos of this brand Alba Botanica. They do not test their products on any animals. They use 100% vegetarian ingredients. Their sunscreens are coral reef friendly and also that packaging is super beautiful you can notice their products from very far away thanks to the bold wording so i've always been excited to try an alba botanica sunscreen korean sunscreens are usually way ahead of american sunscreens because manufacturers in america operate under very tight regulations they have a very limited list of ingredients to use in their sunscreens in fact the same laws that are being used right now are the same ones that were being used i think 10 or 20 years ago while in korea they're constantly evolving their sunscreens looking for ways to make them more moisturizing so today's sunscreen the alba botanica spot sunscreen fragrance free spf 45 brood spectrum sunscreen is the perfect example of an american sunscreen it's very thick and goopy it takes ages to sink in and feels pasty on the skin the the sharp scent that the product has does not make things any better. I don't like it and I don't hate it but I certainly do mind it. And then usually I mentioned in my other sunscreen review video that I like applying like chunks of product under my eyes and just chilling letting it absorb. You can't pull those tricks with this sunscreen. If you just apply a bunch of it on an area, like even for a minute, it starts getting so difficult to spread. Give it five minutes and it is completely dry. And then at that point, now you'll have to use very forceful motions to spread it. And we'll just do a neck application for now because I already have sunscreen on my face. So there it is pouring out of the product. Very nice and efficiently. The problem is that this cap is very loose and it's almost even breaking. It's at the point where it's just barely holding on. I feel very desperate to pull it off, but that will just make things worse. So you can see the thick pastiness that I'm talking about. And if you go and watch my reviews on Cosar X, clear sunscreens, you'll see that they don't usually spread out this way. This one looks very, it has a very thick, you know, texture. Korean sunscreens usually feel very smooth on your skin, while this one, it doesn't feel rough in that it's hurting me, but I can feel, you know, it's not a pleasant feeling spreading it around. But then again, you don't really think about such a thing so much. So now that it's spread out, yeah, I feel comfortable. I feel that I have product on my neck and that I am protected. But then I do have that oily feeling on my hands. And you know, you get that urge to wipe it along your clothes. I don't like that feeling on your hands. And I can imagine right now, I'm comfortable doing that at home. But when you're stuck in a matatu, you are rocking in town, you don't really have time to stop and wipe your hands so leisurely. I go on with two applications, but now the problem comes in that after I go in the sun, I feel so super hot and then the thick nature of the product doesn't really make it a sunscreen that you'd reach for in very sunny weather you can already tell i had a pretty disappointing experience with this sunscreen but i have not given up on them i am looking to try more of their sunscreens the problem is that they rarely ever stock them at healthy you and that's like the only place i would know to get an alba botanica sunscreen this specific one is a spot sunscreen so it may be more favorable to athletes or if you're into fitness i am not an athlete or that active in the 
fitness department but i would still be able to use such a sunscreen like i'd still get protected the sunscreen doesn't know that i'm not fit i wouldn't have bought this sunscreen if there were other options available just that it was the only one on the shelf and before that i had been looking for an alba botanica sunscreen for about five months i bought it at the healthy you at the hub for 1200 bob i think you definitely get what you pay for with this one it's worth the investment if you're looking for an affordable sunscreen before you know navigating your way to these korean sunscreens but there's also another equally good korean sunscreen that you would definitely pick over alba botanica and that's the apu sunblock gel thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one Bye for now. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching. Keep searching.